We finally made it over the 1,000 subscriber milestone. And thank you very much to UFO Pulse for being my 1,000th subscriber. Thank you very much for your kind donation. And a special thanks to everyone else who is watching this video who also subscribed. Thank you very much, thank you very, very, very much. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you really, really should do that right now. Now, Bang & Lawson, a company known for making design forward products, what's their weirdest product? It's not these, is it? These are just headphones, and don't worry, there'll be a video coming out about these soon. I don't know if you spotted it in the background, but it's actually this. Yes, this box here. It's made by Bang & Lawson. But what is it? I'm going to let you now write in the comments and tell me what you think this is. What could it be then? Well, apparently this is the AV processor for one of their televisions from the early 2000s. And if we turn it around, it's called the Biosystem 1, although I think that this is mislabeled as every single uh, thing online has this been called the Biosystem 2. But okay, it's an AV processor. Why is it this shape? And why is it so industrial? I mean, don't Bing also make products that are pretty? Okay, so let's open it up. I've got my professional choice screwdrivers. Um, obviously, they're only for professionals because it says it on the packet. This comes apart surprisingly easily. And uh, if you pull this out, uh, the part that maybe broke off just before uh, is revealed. Um, but the whole thing just sort of comes out. And you can remove the case, sort of vaguely shaped like the box that it's in. There's a lot of air. I mean, this has a lot of space here and here. Maybe it's airflow. Maybe it's they didn't want it to overheat. You know, it came with this really crappy plastic frame, and as you can see, it just sort of snaps away. And that's before your sort of, I guess, your connections, the proprietary connections of Bang & Olufsen. At the front, you've got, um, was it SCART here? And a master link connection. And it's a really interesting construction because it's kind of like this uh, plastic skeleton that everything sort of sits on, and it feels really modular, like if you were careful, you could undo this without breaking it. Cable ties, very professionally made. Very well made product. Let's get in here. So undoing these things here, it kind of pops open into what can only really be described as a circuit board book, as each one of these kind of swings. Um, there's some shielding there, and there's something under there. What's under here? Should we have a look? Um, there's nothing under there. Under this cover here, there are circuit boards by Philips. And over on this side are some big capacitors and some smaller capacitors and one of these and one of those and, and, and a relay of some kind. And you know, I think that's pretty much enough of a look of the inside of this. You might have noticed I broke a couple of things and that's because I don't really care if I break this item because after this it's going straight into the bin because it's a proprietary system for a 20 year old plasma television that nobody owns anymore. So it really has no use today, despite costing four and a half thousand euros new. But why is it in a black box? And why is it not pretty? I mean, it's not exactly like something you'd want to put on display, and that's exactly right. I was looking at this picture right here, and it kind of shows a cabinet behind the BO System 2. Suspiciously, a cabinet that looks like it could fit a BO System 2, and that's exactly how the BO System 2 was designed. It was designed to be hidden away in this cabinet here so that you would never be able to see it. So you're probably thinking right now, is that the weirdest thing? that Bang Olufsen has made. I mean, that is just a piece of AV equipment after all. How about this? The Bang & Olufsen A7 Wine Coaster. Yes, this actually does exist, but it looks pretty nice, and um, honestly, I'd be pretty happy with the set myself. We need to go weirder. Well, how about this? The Rota EJ800 Love Seat Sofa. Uh, it's very flexible, it has the ability to be adjustable. Um, you can have it uh, like that, or like this. And before you're thinking, no, Bing Olsen didn't make this. Oh yes, they didn't, they branded it as well. Now, if you're getting 90s vibes, well, you're not alone because that's when this came out. It was also available in this lovely blue color. 
but this is by far my favorite color for it because in this color scheme here it really gives me the vibes of that really hideous configurable office furniture from the 1990s especially with that high back it really is like the 1990s vomited on the sofa well i think that one's pretty weird but what about you have you owned a bang awesome product that's weirder let me know in the comments below now i just wanted to quickly address in the last video because a lot of people commented about the DAC situation. Yes, absolutely, the CD players sound different because of the different DACs inside them. Thank you very much for pointing that out because I do read the comments. Now, what's coming up next? Well, I'm going to play a really quick game with you where I show you five images really quickly, and those could be some things that are coming up in the channel. So we'll do that right now. Didn't quite catch it? Let's do it one more time. Did you spot what they were? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that brings us on to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll have more videos along very soon.